All right, everyone, back at you with another video. Uh, I might turn this into a series, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. This is gonna be all about curb maintenance. So if you ever wanted to know what to do whenever your curb gets sticky or it starts to get chunky or whatever, whatever, we're gonna start getting you right. So first thing we're gonna do today is kind of getting it grinding again. This is gonna be the most basic thing to do to get your curbs kind of going good again. So let's get into it. All right, so a couple of things you're gonna need for this basic kind of curb maintenance. Um, if you really wanna get a little bit more in depth, uh, you can get a rub brick too. But um, I would recommend a, uh, I get like a putty knife. So this has been used a lot. That's why it's kind of got this U in the top from scraping the edge of the curbs. So get a putty knife and get you some Rust-Oleum uh, Gloss Clear Enamel. If you used a oil-based, um, like a oil-based lacquer or something like that, and you try to put that over wax that's already on your curbs, what'll happen is it'll start to kind of flake off. The water-based stuff for me seems to kind of basically make layer after layer of like hardened like kind of crystallized wax that kind of builds up like a good base on your curb. But, so this is a perfect spot to do this at because usually when people skate here, uh, they just kind of like, people are just kind of waxing over it. So, you know, but not everyone has the time to do this. So it's completely understandable. So periodically I'll kind of come through and do this, but when it gets really hot, if you're using like, it, it really doesn't matter what kind of wax. If you use any wax and it's really hot outside, what'll happen is it'll start to kind of gum up like on the curb and it'll make it, even when you're waxing it, it'll just feel slow and sluggish. It won't be like fast feeling. So we're gonna kind of fix that because it, it dirt mixes with the wax too, but it just kind of gets gummy from the sun and stuff like that. It's different, a little bit different in the winter time. It doesn't really do that as much. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your, take your putty knife, try not to put any, any gouges like in the curb like if you're not going to re-rub brick the edges but just kind of go through and you'll see i'll just do it a little bit but you'll see you'll start to see like kind of caked on caked on wax start to kind of build and like come off so you'll go through it that'll be the first step and you kind of go through all the edges kind of get it good you know I try to kind of go over it like a bazillion times just to make sure I get all the dirty wax off and then uh, and then after that so I'll kind of go through it right now and I might speed it up a little bit but um, after that I'll show you you know you want to get the dirty wax off first and then we're gonna spray this next and then I'll show you from there so so if you can see already like there's a good bit of like kind of dirty wax coming off this curb so and that's kind of like i noticed the last time i skated here it was getting kind of slow sluggish so we're gonna get all this off kind of get the edges right you got to be careful on the edges though because it does want to like kind of remove all of the uh i'll put this off to the side kind of wants to remove all the lacquer off the ledges or the edges pretty easy when you use a putty knife so just be careful because you don't want to like make it too raw unless you're going to like rub brick it like right after if you're going to rub brick it then it's fine but i'll kind of show you that as that next time but yeah this is i haven't done this on this curb in a while so it kind of i'm usually the one that curb maintenance guy so I go around to the spots that I skate regularly and I just kind of make sure the curbs are going nice because um, I like them really fast I know certain people like this butt shot <laughs> certain people you know don't really like the curbs to be too fast you know they're like there's no resistance yeah well oh well that's how I like them I want to go as fast as possible and if you're doing a lot of combos and your curbs aren't slick, you gonna learn the hard way that it's gonna it's gonna be hard for you to progress. 
Um, cause certain things you just have to, you just have to use wax, man. There's a reason why really good skateboarders all over the world, pros, are using lots of wax, so. But yeah, this is, and you, this, this whole concept, what, what I'm doing now, this kind of, this kind of applies to ledges too. So if you have a ledge spot or whatever, and it's kind of gotten slow over time, it's probably because dirt has kind of got into the, into the wax and stuff like that, just from people's wheels. And uh, so you do that first and then I'll go like this and you'll really see, oh yeah, I can see all the nasty wax coming off. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna get all this off of here. Get this thing right. I like my curves slick, man. I like them fast, dog. I like them fast. Seems like a lot of people. The reason I thought I'd make this, because it seemed like a lot of people were asking me, like, hey, like, how do you keep your curbs, like, going really good? Mine have gotten slow. And I always tell them, like, hey, like, you might want to try to strip off some of the dirty old wax and, and then lacquer or whatever. But really, it does help a lot. Before, If you can get it at least for a little while, if you can do, like, before and after each session... Um, do a little coat before your session starts, after your session ends, do a little coat of this stuff, this Rust-Oleum. Basically what will happen is it'll turn into like this like crystallized friggin curb that just kind of goes good pretty often. So certain places like it'll end up being like that's how Costco is in, in uh, L.A. Costco's like that. It's just layers and layers of of rustoleum, and uh, oops, don't want to peel that up. Layers and layers of rustoleum and and uh, wax. So, all right. Try to kind of remove some of this, get it off to the side, so I don't step in it. I should have brought brooms what I should have brought. Don't mind me, I'm just dumb. <laughs> Broom helps. If you can sweep it or whatever after you do this, then you won't be like spraying over the little wax pieces. So yeah, I'll try to get some skating in this video too. I really need a lavalier go. Because <laughs> this thing tickling me is irking my nerves tickling my chin all right so now we're gonna take the rust-oleum make sure you shake it up real good try to get all the dusty pieces off of here if you can gosh it's making my hands so dirty uh, yeah I should have brought broom Ugh. yeah the rust get the rust-oleum and now we're gonna kinda, kinda hit it. I wouldn't douse it if you wanna be able to skate it. Soon, just kinda like, quick, little light on the edge kinda first. Like that. Not like staying in one spot too long. Do the edge on the side. I always do that first, and then then we'll kind of go down the middle, like so. Yeah, like that. And then, if you really want it to kind of go fast after you do this, do like a coat like this. Let it, let it dry. Make sure it's not like tacky. Then put a little tiny bit of wax over it and then lightly spray it one more time and it'll like seal in that layer of wax especially if it's real hot outside that helps a lot kind of seal in that layer of wax and then it'll it'll go good 
even in the hot heat. So yeah, I'm going to let this dry and then, uh, probably in the next episode or something, I'll show you guys how to fix the seams. Cause there's another spot that I skate regularly and, uh, this one, at least one of the seams is kind of like blowing out. So I'm going to fix that with a probably JB weld steel stick. I'll show you guys how to do that. There's a couple different things you can use to fix seams, but I'll show you guys that one. So I'm going to let this dry a little bit. I'm probably going to spray the other curb and then, uh, uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll skate a little bit while I'm here. So, all right. Got this thing waxed uh, after the lacquer. So let's uh, see what we can do. I'm kind of curious. I don't know what I should do first to test it test the slotability because I feel like it's going to be fast. Yeah, Lucas. I guess we'll do, we'll just kind of go medium speed, medium, do a crook. Oh, dude, it's like night and day. Oh gosh, it feels so good. Oh, I almost forgot what that feeling was like. Like for these curves to go that fast. See like that one, just that one coat of lacquer and wax and it's like, oh yes, yes, yes. That was a bad pop out, but another crook. Maybe pop it over. Ooh, a little dicey. Let's do a nose slide. See how that's going. See how the sides are going now. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, we're in here. I'm gonna go through the go through the old trick list. This works. So nose slide crook is the next one. Boom, boom. Oh, that was kind of bad. That was might have been a pinch violation. There we go. Oh, almost power slid out of that. Oh, I missed. Dang, dude. I robbed. Not really. I choked. Dude, what is wrong with me? Gosh. There we go. Oh, that's what it was. I didn't have enough time. Oh, I cheated. I didn't wait until the end. Come on, Robbie. You're better than that. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, gosh. That was kind of shitty. Excuse my language. Crappy. Oh, how did I get out of that? There we go. And a little kisser. I'll take it. Feeble. See how good it's going. Oh, the cross lock is so lame. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry if that like triggered anyone, but. I just, I do not like cross locking back 50s. Almost didn't full lock. Why did I get a hot pocket just now? I guess if I just get into a proper one, I'll just back 180 out, I guess. Yep, there we go. A little kiss. There we go. There we go. All right. I'm not gonna do much more curve skating, but it was mostly, I just wanted to kind of show you guys um, difference it makes. This thing wasn't going at all when I got here. So um, if you do that once and then just continue, like before I leave, I'm gonna spray a little bit of lacquer again. If you guys just kind of keep the coats going with the Rust-Oleum, at least very minimum after each, each session, um, before and after is really good. But if you can start doing that, then you'll kind of build up some really good layers on the uh on the curb and then it won't get won't get like really sticky for a while so yeah keep that going i'll show and like i said if you want to really like fully refinish it if it's gotten chunky then that's where you need to like use the rub brick and kind of re round out those kind of edges or whatever kind of take out some of the dips and everything like that so yeah next time i'll show you guys how to use the steel stick and everything like that and uh yeah, so I'm gonna spray it one more time before I leave. But if you guys like this video, if you wanna see more kind of curb maintenance stuff, I wanna do some more in the future, show you guys. I can show you guys how I prep like a fresh curb too. Um, Cause a lot of people ask me what I use. And usually when I'm, 
when it's first when I'm first doing a curb I use this stuff it's called bare uh, it's like wet look uh, concrete sealer I think it's called I have a big jug of it I think it's like a gallon or two gallons or something like that it's a big jug and that lasts a really long time but you can't put that over wax because then it just flakes off like skin um, but for the base layer before you wax and everything like that, that stuff is awesome let me know if you guys want to see some more curb maintenance stuff and uh, I'll do some more curb sessions probably just mic'd up and just kind of chatting or whatever I kind of burnt myself out before I got here <laughs> at the at the skate park but Anyways, later.